Hello there, this is how to add product on your bumper web app. You open your dashboard and you click on the products tab. Then you click on add new product. Then you want to add product images to make your customers know about the product and what it looks like. Mind you, you can add up to eight different images for one particular product. You can either crop the image or just upload straight away. Then here you want to put in a product name that makes it easy for people to search for this product on your website. Here you want to put in a short description that explains what this product is about. For the longer product description, this is supposed to help you rank with SEO. SEO basically is how people on the internet can Google search you and find you your store based on the products you have. You want to make this as explanatory as possible. Then here we have collection. Think of collection as categories of products in your store. You know, when you go to a supermarket, there are different sections for electronics, for food products, beverages, and stuff like that. Here, I'm going to show you how to create a collection. You click on create collection. Because this product is a handbag, I'm going to create a collection called handbags. Click on save. And now you can easily just add this product to the collection straight up. Does this product have variations like colors, sizes, etc? If you want to add things like colors, sizes, material, type of your product, you click on yes it has, and you will add that later. Because this is a handbag, the unit is going to be a PC, but mind you, you can change it to a box, pack, pair, centimeter, LG, yard, bowl, bottle, depending on the kind of products that you want to sell. Product locations. This is when you add products with specific store location and it's only important for bumpreneurs that have the multi-location feature on bumper, meaning that you have different stores and their, their locations added on your bumper app. Here is now where you add those things like color, sizes, and much more. You click on add option. Here you put in the option type and then you also put the option value. Option type with the specific kind of option that you have. So if this particular bag has size, I'll put size. Then I'll put the different values for the size. So let's say I have six inches bag and I have eight inches bag. Or alternatively, if it says I can say large, then I can say extra large. I can save and add new option. Let's say another option I have is color. If this bag comes in colors and I can say I have it in brown, add more values. I have it in white and that's basically fine. And I can click on save and move on. At this point, I have created, I have created the options and I can move on. Here you now have options of imputing quantity, imputing price, impute cost, impute discount price if you have discount price. And I'll show you how to add those. So first off is, I have the same quantity for all these products. I'll just click on everything. And I have, and I'll click on input quantity. I have 10 pieces of each of those variations. I'll click on 10. I'll click on apply. As you can see, it uploads. Then they're all the same price. So I'll put the price 20,000 Naira. Click on apply and it shows. Here you have cost. It is one. It is very good for you to always put in your cost because it will reflect when you are trying to calculate your profit. Without cost, Bumper will be able to give you accurate analysis on the profits you are making on this particular product. So I'll say it costs me ten thousand naira to buy this bag. I do not have a discounted price because I'm not using a bump the bumper growth option plan. I will not be using barcode. But at this point, I am done, and I can click on add product other quantity basically is for all sellers who do moq and max oq moq and max oq basically means minimum order quantity and maximum order quantity if you are on a bumper growth plan you can basically choose the minimum number of this product that each customer can buy and this is just for people as all sellers so you can choose that the minimum number of handbags one you can buy is going to be two and the maximum is going to be five. And I'm going to show you how that works. Minimum you can put is two. You can purchase is two. Then the maximum quantity each person can buy is going to be five. And I click on apply. Then I click on add product. And with this process, I am done. Please note that it does not have to be 
this expansive if you do not have things like location minimum order quantity you are done at this point and that is how to add products on your bumper web app